Okay, Bridget. So, as I promised, here's a video on how to make the cheese. I took a gallon of milk and I heated it up till basically it started boiling lightly. And I put the salt into the milk. You need two tablespoons inside the milk because it saves off a step. And yeah, you don't have to clean the tools as much. So you get it. So it's all heated up. So basically, just lightly boils. One gallon of milk, two tablespoons of salt. This is three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. You just dump that in. Stir it around. And then, as you can see, well, yeah, you can't see it as much as I can feel it with this thing. You can see it a little bit. It instantly starts to coagulate and separate it out. So you just let it sit for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes and let the cheese rise to the surface and the whey will go to the bottom and the cheese will come to the top. Okay, so now we have something that looks kind of like lumpy cottage cheese, which is actually cottage cheese looking. And this is where we strain it. Now there's the proper way to do this, like per how to make cheese cookbook, and which is not this, but this I do because I've done this so many times. I found this works really well. So basically just pour this through a strainer. If you're making like something where you age the cheese, this won't work because that cheese curd will be little tiny pieces and it'll be a huge mess. But this is farmer's cheese. If you're not going to age it, you're going to eat it as soon as you're done. This doesn't hurt. And you just keep pouring it and keep pouring it until you've gotten the cheese into the strainer and the whey is going out the bottom. And there you go. Okay, so here's the completed cheese. It's actually really, really tasty. The lemon is really nice. It gives it a good flavor. So when it's done, it has a little bit of a lemon flavor in it. And it's really soft, really creamy, and you would think it's like cream cheese, but it's not, and it doesn't have nearly that many calories. So here you go.